The journey to Mars will be the longest manned voyage in history. Scientists and engineers think they have the know-how to conquer the physical hazards of the journey to Mars. Open your eyes, please. The depths of the human mind pose another greater risk. Never before have human beings been so far removed from contact with family and loved ones back home. Because for the first time in the history of human spaceflight, they will lose sight of the Earth. When we're going to Mars, after a few days, Earth is just a smaller and smaller dot in your rearview mirror. And you are going to then have to have a whole new psychological uh, level that you are on. The only Mars analogy on Earth, Antarctica, is no match for the isolation of the Mars mission. Jean Lemire spent six months with his crew, isolated in Antarctica. For him, communication was a priority. I decided right from the beginning that the people were able to, uh, to have communication with their family at least once per day. Very expensive, but uh, very important. They have news from the people they love, and uh, it's important. The further the Mars craft is away from Earth, the longer the communications delay. Family communications bring cold comfort across the abyss of space. No technology known to science can beat the interplanetary time zone gap. We copy that you have an electrical power system of... The real-time video conferences of science fiction are all fiction, no science. Psychologists are grappling with the question, what will they say to the Mars astronauts should catastrophe strike at home? I know they videoed the service. So Bull's gonna put it into the next batch transmission. The current thinking is that we ask, as a matter of informed consent, we would say to you, if you were going on a mission, if something happens in this regard, would you want to know or would you want not to know? The key relationships in your life, you know, uh, you really miss them. Uh, my son was uh, a little over a year and a half years old. My wife was pregnant. An issue that comes up is, you know, what if something bad happens to your family on Earth? Should they send you that message and tell you that you lost your son? You know? It'd be a, it'd be a tough time. I get choked up just thinking about it. If one of the astronauts has a breakdown, there's no nearby hospital to send him to. The rest of the crew has to deal with the problem. The only solution is to try and stop breakdowns before they start. Psychologists are a constant presence in Russian mission control, observing the behavior of the crew. The 2007 arrest of shuttle astronaut Lisa Nowak revealed the limits of any psychological assessment program. The astronauts go through a very detailed uh, psychiatric and psychological evaluation uh, at the time of selection. After those tests and interviews are done, they are reviewed by a panel of experts to make a recommendation to the selection board. And then finally, the psychologist panel uh, staffs all those cases for what we would call suitability for shorter, long-duration flights. For the Mars mission, NASA is looking for new technology to prevent psychological meltdowns in space. David Dingus is a scientist specializing in facial analysis to detect stress. Video is fairly unobtrusive. That means that we ask the question, how could video help us understand whether humans are being stressed uh, in any context? And uh, that was the platform on which we developed the idea of trying to use something called computer vision to track facial expressions of humans to detect when they are stressed by their performance demands. Lift your eyebrows as high as you can. Okay, try to form an asymmetry in your mouth. We see this a lot from subjects. Uh, he has a hard time doing it. He's very symmetrical in his face. Commander Richard Irwin, Psych Assessment Report, February 2nd. Specialized software examines facial movements, looking for telltale signs of emotional disturbance. Mission Control could use this information to medicate and, if necessary, restrain a mentally unstable astronaut. So far, no knife fights. Um, here you can see Dr. Dimitri Metaxas helped develop the facial stress software for NASA. We're into the science of quantifying 
why people behave the way they behave and how they express behavior. It sounds surprising why people from different countries and different genders exhibit stress the same way because not all types of emotions are expressed exactly the same way. But in this case, the brain works similarly when it comes to stress situations. NASA is a partner in the development of this stress detector technology, aiming to perfect it for the mission to Mars. Scientists in Russia share NASA's interest in facial analysis to identify stress. The person's facial expression shows the psychological type of the person and his ability to cooperate. There are people who complement each other, and there are people who oppose each other. The model based on the phenomenon of facial expression allows us to determine psychological types of personalities. Stress is one problem, boredom is another. The real Mars spacecraft will be largely automated. Unlike the science fiction version, there is no hologram deck, no alien ships to shoot at. The reality is, there will be little to do for six months. There are some people who just are not psychologically suited for those periods of boredom. They would just go stark raving mad. Then, it all changes once they approach Mars. Psychologists fear the astronauts may not be ready for it. They may suffer from a syndrome known as attention tunneling. Often in heavily automated systems, you can go from prolonged periods of boredom to moments of intense performance demand very rapidly. And you want to train people to deal with those rapid transitions. 1979, Three Mile Island Nuclear Generating Station in Pennsylvania. A faulty gauge leads plant workers to make the wrong assumptions while the reactor core is in full meltdown. There has been a state of emergency declared on Three Mile Island. Please stay indoors with your windows closed. For five days, a nuclear fire rages out of control before engineers find the real cause of the problem. Three Mile Island became a case study for attention tunneling. An automated system flung a bored team into action. Under stress, they made several critical mistakes that nearly cost tens of thousands of lives. The Mars crew will have no margin of error. If one of them makes a mistake, they will all die. That's why we think for Mars, the best thing is to have an automated uh, piloting and landing system with the crew only intervening if there's something goes wrong. Try to avoid all those potential complications. This raises a new question. How to train a crew to survive the psychological pressure of living with the constant fear of dying for a thousand days. The Russian space station Mir has had its share of mishaps. The worst was in 1997, and it is an important lesson for the crew that travels to Mars. Mir commander Vasily Sibilia was at the controls when an unmanned cargo supply ship slammed into Mir. The collision punched a hole in the station's module, exposing the astronauts to the deadly vacuum of space. It took two hours to contain the problem. The whole crew was within moments of evacuation.